Okay, so my phone keeps giving out on me, and I hope this is the last attempt. Uh, this is part three or four, actually, I think it's three, of my natto making adventure. Okay, why do I have all this stuff out here? All right, so let me just explain. This is the water that I boiled the natto bean in. You don't really need a pressure cooker. You don't need anything fancy. I grew up making beans, for crying out loud. You boil them, and when they're done, they're done. You don't need all the fancy stuff. Just boil them till they are soft. Do not be intimidated by these stupid instructions. All right? You're making beans. That's it. So now, I decided that rather than making soybeans, I'm going to make my natto out of, guess what? Garbanzo beans. Okay? Because they are more popular for their nutrition. They have, they're known to have more nutritional values. And these are already cooked. You even see kind of like them sprouting because these are organic, by the way. And so this is hot enough. And uh, I would like to see if I could fit a jar or something. Let me see. Oh, great. Please just drop everything. I've only started that recording a few times. Let me see. I could put this here. Okay, can't really see it. Okay, this is my yogurt fermenter, right? I could actually put this here, let it warm, and put a a a a, a cloth over it and let it cook by itself. I'm gonna make this simple. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay, so here is my not natural starter. Okay, it comes with a very tiny spoon and no instructions. So some somebody who speaks Japanese went online to give the instructions. But she went on to ramble and tell a story. And as far as I was concerned, she never got to the instructions on this, the translation. So, let's see. Is this captioned to be? Where is it? Where, where, where's the lens here for crying out loud? Okay. So, I'm just taking a spoon. Okay. And I'm going to dump it in here. And I'm going to make my natto in glass rather than in plastic which is what really fits in my yogurt maker okay all right i'm gonna make this real simple keep it simple stupid they used to say back in the day okay so uh let me get let me get my canning tool that i get to use and it will be with pleasure that I will use it now. Okay. So I'm going to dump all of the natto beans in here. One, two, three, go. That's it. Just do it, Felice. Like, you know, enough of the super duper natural instructions. You know, it's just too much. It's killing me. All right. The only thing is I filled it to the top. I didn't realize that it would fill up that easily. So um, I'm going to have to dump some out. Okay. Just dump a little bit out because I, I want to shake it so that natto um, powder can be shaken <laughs> uh, because I did this a little too fast. So I put that natto powder, the starter, in the bottom. All right. So I'm doing this pretty carelessly and my beans are actually a little softer than they should be because I softened them overnight and then I boiled it. Uh, I really didn't overcook it. I will just boil it, turn it off, and then just heat it up. I didn't even boil it that much. So that natural starter, I, you already saw me put it in here, okay? So I'm shaking this up, all right? And you know what? I'm going to keep this hot, and I'm just going to put it in here. I'm going to put this on, and um, I think I'm going to put a little water in it. I'm being a look. What is that sound? I guess it, it went. It never went like that before. That's, that was weird. Okay, so now. All right, since all, most of this thing is not filled to capacity anymore, right? Because I shook it. Let me put some more in because it's very possible that I could fit a whole lot more. It actually tastes pretty good. These are organic garbanzo beans that obviously cooked 
pretty easily. Maybe because I soaked them overnight, they were really half made. And quite frankly, you can make natto without even cooking or boiling it. When I soaked it, they were already halfway there. If I would have soaked it for another day, or even less than a day, it probably would have turned into natto. All I had to do was put this little thing, the little tiny spoon you saw. This is, they're making such a big deal out of natto, but it's because, I, I have this here because I make a yogurt starter, a bread starter. And so let me just remove this. But this is my favorite jar to make a uh, bread starter. Make it into yeast. Okay. So. All right. So I'm going to put this here. I have a little water in there. I'm going to let this. Oh. Okay. So I spilled some, huh? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this very simple. Oh, I dropped a lot in there. I think I'm getting sloppy, right? But I want to see how this turns out. Let me get... I'm just going to get a towel. All right. That's it. Simple. <clears throat> Simple as that. It's going to be in a warmer. And we're going to stop making a big deal over this nacho thing. All right. Because <laughs> I'm not using this. This is my yogurt maker that goes inside of there. I'm putting the nacho here. It's already hot. So it's going to just stay hot because this thing is on. Okay. As you can see. It's, it's on. You see the light? So it's, gonna, it's just going to keep it warm. I really was going to use this candle warmer or coffee warmer and frankly keep it in the same pot and just put this over it and yeah I would dare to do that except it doesn't fit that perfectly but see just a little heater that's all let it heat overnight what's the big deal measuring and trying to see for the temperature and all that well you know when they discovered natto there was no temperature gauge you know there was no this no that no oven no there was no pressure cooker to cook the beans in they were frankly soaking the beans and eventually the beans started going bad so they basically fermented simple as that so if my experiment goes bad well it goes bad what the heck right next time if this thing works but apparently it doesn't doesn't go on for anything uh, I would just put, put, put the natto in something like this, in a jar similar to this, as long as it fits and sits well, set it and forget it, cover it with cotton. Do you think these people carried around like plastic saran wrap to poke holes in it all over the place and then put a second saran wrap and, and put more holes in it where some people do the set, they poke holes on the second one, other people don't. And, and all this natto stuff, come on. These people were, you know, whatever they were, soldiers or whatever, who do, who discovered the natto, they had to run and they forgot. They just left it soaking and ran with it soaking probably and then it started fermenting by itself. Do you think they were measuring this and measuring that? And do you think that once they learned natto was a good thing to do, that they were measuring things that they had saran wrap? Years later, it took how many centuries? I don't know exactly when they invented natto or discovered it, but they didn't have all this fancy stuff that you see on on, on on YouTube showing us how to make natto and who's to say that it must be soybeans soybeans which is not rated high to begin with right in fact it's rated very low in some cases right I haven't done the studies but I do know that it's not the most highly rated bean okay but garbanzo beans are very highly rated all right so guess what I'm leaving this sucker here for 24 hours set it and forget it I didn't work hard for it I boil the things, they're a little kind of soft, put just a little tiny uh, spoon of this starter, and l let me show you how tiny the spoon is. Look, that tiny, that tiny. I put one spoon of this, okay? That tiny. So, set and forget it. If I didn't put enough, next time I'll put more. What the heck? I got, I got, I got tons and tons of really good organic garbanzo beans. And guess what? I did order, uh, I did order soybeans, 
uh, for this experiment, but who needs soybeans? Why not just ferment a bean that's really nutritious? Come on now. I'm still going to do the soybean just to make you happy, by the way. Let's see if this comes out. This is staying like that because I have no time to take care of it anyway. Right? So it's about 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, let's say October 3rd. It's already October 4th because it's 1 o'clock in the morning. So uh, by 1 o'clock in the morning, if I'm up at that time, on October... Uh, November 4th, not October. November 4th, because today is November 3rd. Um... Then I'll check up on the natto. And if it comes out, it comes out. If it doesn't come out, it doesn't come out. I'll boil it less next time. Um, what happened, you saw the video. I, I soaked my garbanzos in, in some water with a little baking soda. Although they were organic and from one of the best farms ever. Uh, I still did that because I want to be a good example. A lot of other beans are not from the places I get my stuff. So... I want you guys to learn to soak things in baking soda, All right? So now in the morning, they're already halfway there. I really didn't need to, to boil them. I boiled them once, but I kept them in water and turned on the stove a little bit more, didn't really boil them, and you saw how mushy they came out. So if my natto comes out good, my uh, garbanzo natto, mind you, right, is going to be real gooey because I already shook it as you saw. I mean, just shake the darn stuff. Just, you know, keep it simple, right? I shook it, and then tomorrow, let's see if it comes out cheesy. And that's the end of the story. So this is part three, I believe, of my natto making experiment. Not using soybeans. I'm making my own version with garbanzo beans. And then I'll give you another version with soybeans when they arrive in the mail. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Bye now.